Thank you very much for the comments. Krish Patel says quality 200%. Those little squares are actually emojis, but you can see it over here. And we have a special request. Please change the background music to something new, bro, by Kalim Bhaiya, King of Mirzapur. have this I already had this uh, master cylinder for the hydraulic e-brake or oh, yeah hydraulic handbrake so this one was already studied but then I figured out that <clears throat> this comes from uh, Bajaj auto rickshaw the old model the old that's what they say so this one actually SF it fits vertically so um, and or for my design I want the master cylinder to fit like this horizontally or yewala hum horizontally fit nahi kar sakte obviously for um, obviously because uh, the oil reservoir needs to sit like this. Um, if it will then we will not put oil in it. So, I was I was just churning my brain ke how I can make use of this. But, you know, finally, uh, I don't want to waste time. And we bought a new master cylinder. This is the Atul uh, loading rickshaw ka master cylinder let's, let's check this one out now both are from Bosch ye bhi Bosch ka hai let me focus yeah Bosch made in India so this one is Bajaj auto rickshaw this one is ye wala hai Atul loading rickshaw car. Uh, as you can see, we can easily fit horizontally. That's how I want it to fit. We can uh, put the brake oil straight in here, no issues. And this one is also Bosch. So now we will make this bracket. So we are just going to measure the distance, the center distance between uh, these two holes. And uh, we will measure ke what is the distance from this face to this hole center. And uh, we also gonna measure the stroke. Case ka suppose what is the stroke? So, say this one. Ye kitna iska stroke kya once it's all the way inside when it comes out. What is the stroke? So, I have but I'll show it to you again. How to measure the center distance of these two holes? This hole center or this hole center. What is what is the distance? How how do you measure it? So yeah, you know there is. There is one way to measure it is, you know, you either 
um, you measure the um, edge of um, these two holes so either say either ka measure leke you can um, minus the 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 diameter of the hole then you'll get the um, uh, center of these two holes so basically we are doing the same but in a different way so what you do is we have measure kj so let's say it's about nine right and then zero it zero karke up ye distance measure ki so that's your whole center that's about 60 mm you can see we can just skip Yep, that's around 60. We wanna keep it even at 60. So that's the whole center. That's the distance between the center of these two holes. I've taken all the measurements. Now we're making a bracket that's gonna mount the master cylinder. and the handbrake lever that will connect to the master cylinder and we also making the handbrake lever according to the measurements that we've taken What we do here is go back 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 These are the final drawings. 
I know the bracket doesn't make sense. It looks like a board. But once we bend it and once we assemble everything together, everything will make sense. So let's get this laser cut and get it bended. We already got uh, everything laser cut. That's the handbrake lever. That uh, plate with four holes is the mounting plate where we're going to mount the bracket. This is the bracket. Um, is uh, this will be folded uh, at three places so if you can see the mark it will be bent from those marks so be there will be a bend from three sides got the bushings made yes aur hamare paas hai ye brass ka bushing so this is going to slide really smoothly on this Okay, so that's how it looks once it's all the same.
what do we have here? So this is the complete uh, hydraulic handbrake kit that we made ourselves. So you've already seen how we made these. Um, we have AutoCAD me design karke laser cut karwa laser cut karwa ke bend karwa ke we got it welded and now uh, we got it uh, chromed so this ke upar um, electro chrome hua hua hai. so um, it's a process that um, what it does is um, it um, coats it with uh, chrome so it's an um, uh, electrolysis process they dip it and then you know they um, do a layer of chrome over it the same here this is the handbrake lever it's nice and shiny and that's the mounting plate we might have to cut the mounting plate that will decide you know once we set the um, system up we got these also polished the aluminum so it's easier to polish aluminum so it looks like um, SS looks like uh, stainless steel but um, actually it's aluminum and it's nice and shiny also see my camera in here anyway moving forward so that's the kit that's the master cylinder which will go like so um, i'm gonna assemble the whole system and uh, i'll show you how it looks like <coughs> so I measured the length from the driver's seat to the master cylinder mount and from there the differential tuck. That is the line. This is the metal uh, brake line. We're going to run a single brake line from the master cylinder to the rear differential. Then it's going to split into two from the differential to the two wheels. So, so let me give you a brief idea of how you know the connection is going to go <coughs> so these are all the connectors um, these are going to go in here like uh, so it's going to go in here like this From the T, I'm gonna connect this, and this is gonna run on to this middle line. So we got all the connectors. Uh, this is from the differential. It's gonna run from the differential. We got on the line system set up. Now let's go install this thing. We have assembled the hydraulic handbrake unit. Now we just making sure where to place it. So we just checking a few orientations and making sure the handbrake and the gear shifter doesn't interfere. Once we got the desired placement of the hydraulic handbrake unit, we welded the base plate on the transmission tunnel. छोड़ दिए तुम इस बार आप? Check करो। 
सॉलिड सही की भी सॉलिड सही क्यों ना हम्म आ तेरे गैप कुंडा को नीचे पाको भी लिंग करो आई एक टुकड़ा मुंह दे दो our hydraulic handbrake is finally done it's mounted properly and it feels really amazing to pull on the hydraulic handbrake lever i'm not going to show you how we did the brake lines because the episode is already getting too long but i'll tell you this the hydraulic handbrake only is connected to the rear wheels so it will lock up only the rear wheels while the foot brake is connected only to the front wheels so when i press the foot brake it will only break the front wheels and not the back wheels the hydraulic handbrake will break only the back wheels that's it for this episode of naughty nut if you have any questions please dm me on instagram in the next episode we'll do our custom exhaust and set up a rear mounted radiator